One of the really challenging aspects of moving to a new town as an adult is figuring out how to make new friends. COVID has also changed where Coloradans are hanging out and meeting in some subtle ways. As someone over 30 who runs a website and podcast about Colorado and the city of Denver in particular, I find myself having the conversation about friendships and making connections more often than not. There are some special nuances to attracting adult friendships, and I thought I would offer some insights into how to navigate this if you're new to town. Denver is still very much a big little city. While there are moments when it feels like a big city to those of us who grew up here, especially during rush hour, it still is in many ways a small town. You run into a lot of the same people over and over again. This can be both a benefit and also a little problematic for new arrivals, especially when looking for new friends. So here's the thing. Coloradans are very friendly. In fact, it can be a little unnerving to folks moving from cities where randomly talking to people you don't know is just not a thing that you do. Or being smiled at for no reason other than just a smile just doesn't happen. That happens here. But Coloradans can also be, and it pains me to admit this, we can be a little non-committal too. So it may take a couple of introductions before you find yourself moving forward with a friendship with a person that you've met and you're like, wow, they're really cool, but they seem a little non-committal. Don't take it personally. It's a thing. And so you might just have to meet us more than once. Also, if you're French, this would really annoy you. Focus on your interests. Join communities that are aligned with your personal interests. There are a ton of free, incredibly active meetup groups that you can join. These groups range from singles communities, language groups, cycling enthusiasts, and more. Whatever your interest is, it's likely that there is a group out there for you. Start a meetup group. In the event that you don't find a group that's to your liking, create your own community. Meetup groups are incredibly inexpensive to run. I think Typically, they're about $20, and oftentimes there's a sale on the price for administrating, uh, uh, for uh, running a group. So basically, check it out because it's probably on sale and inexpensive to do. When you create that group, you can lead with what you enjoy. Just be prepared for some of the little annoyances that come with leading a community. Volunteer. Recently, I volunteered at a local TEDx event. It was a fantastic experience, and the people that I volunteered with were incredible. In fact, we're all looking to hang out again because we had such a great time. So that's just something to keep in mind. I have friends who volunteer for the film festival, and that's a thing that they've done year in and year out. And they've absolutely loved that experience. They now live out of state, but this was something that they did, I think, for like 10 years. I don't even know. They did it forever. Ask yourself, what is your favorite fitness-focused activity? Denver and the state of Colorado are filled with fitness-focused folk. We're one of the healthiest states in the nation, and part of that is doing activities outdoors. Hiking, biking, skiing, snowboarding camping, rock climbing, running, yoga. If you have gear, do you like to have discussions about gear? Join one of these communities. Not only will you have weekly activities to participate in, but you'll make friends pretty quickly to do these activities with. Attend an event. There are so many cool events happening in town, and it's really pretty easy to meet people while you're attending them, especially depending on the type of activity. And now that it's clear we're not going to close down ever again, it looks like, get your vax on, bring your card and you know, a mask if needed, and be prepared to hang out and meet new people at these events. Denver's Startup Week, in particular, if you're in the business space, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're looking for venture capital, or just looking for other people who are doing cool and interesting things in town, that's a great event. And this year, it's in October. So at the time that you're listening to this, the next Denver Startup Week is the first week of October 2021. So definitely check that out. Work from a co-working space. People are working from home more now than ever, and co-working spaces are a great way to establish a work, quote unquote, home base and meet people with similar 
business focused interests. I use a tool called Desk Pass that allows me to book my spot at co working spaces throughout the city and actually throughout the United States. It's a great way to balance out working from home and needing to go in and do things from an actual office. I love this product. I love this tool. I've used it, I think, for three years now. I signed up right when they started this company, and I'm just a huge fan. Start a content curation project. Before, I would have said start a blog, but it is almost 2022. You could start a blog, vlog, podcast, TikTok channel, whatever it is you want to do. It's a great way to meet people and typically creates a very easy in when meeting new people because you can just say, hey, well, you know, I run a website about Colorado and I just have questions about blah, 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 blah. People love it. Trust me. I know. Own a dog. Okay. This is for the people who really love dogs and are pet people. Denver citizens love their dogs, like really love their dogs. It is not unusual to see dogs at your local coffee shops, breweries. They're everywhere. I only like puppies because I'm not a pet person, but even my cold heart loves puppies. My point is dogs in Colorado are very much treated like a member of the family versus as a pet. So if you love dogs or other pets, like have one. And and that's a really nice way for people to meet other people. Join a faith-based community. For folks that have a faith practice, find a faith-based community. That's a big deal because without those communities, a lot of times people feel out of alignment, if you will. Go on a local adventure. Explore Denver like a tourist. Basically, avoid becoming insular within your specific neighborhoods. I actually watch other people's content about Colorado and about other states as well. And one of the things I can tell specific to Colorado-based travel content or location-based content is if the people are always in their neighborhood. I actually made a comment on someone's YouTube video. They seem so sweet, but I was like, I can tell that you're always in your neighborhood. I literally said this. So please explore Denver like a tourist. It has so much going on. I grew up here and I cannot keep up with all of the changes. So if you're saying that there's nothing to do or you don't know where to go, I can tell that you're only in your neighborhood. So explore it like a tourist. Join one of Denver's many underground communities from roller skating, cycling in mass with Denver Cruiser Ride, dance communities, or skateboarding enthusiasts, regardless of age, there are people out there to hang out with. If you are a 40-year-old skateboarding enthusiast, I can tell you there are 40-year-old skateboarding enthusiasts out there. I've seen them on the streets. I don't want you on the streets, but I'm just saying they're out there. Finally, be open to fostering friendships with folks who are younger and older than you. Some of my favorite people to hang out with are 20 years older than me and typically kick my butt every time we go hiking, like they're the best hikers. I know they're, they're the most in shape right now. I'm not (laughs) making friends as an adult new to Denver can feel a little intimidating, but if you have a plan and put yourself out there, you will absolutely meet new friends. So good luck. Let me know how it goes and welcome to town. 